So there is a mistake that I see a lot of people do when creating environments or any kind of game and they want their game to look good, but it just doesn't work. I used to have the same mistake many years ago, and it comes down to selecting the textures you're going to use. And to give you an idea, when, when I was studying software engineering, I was just developing my brain in a very logical way. And when I switched to do art, it became a little bit hard for me to understand the concepts behind it. And one of the concepts that was holding me back was the concept of abstraction. And that my brain always wanted to put a name for something. So when you want to look for a texture here, for example, and why, why am, I, am I talking about textures and materials? It's because 70% of the quality of your work will depend on the quality of your textures and materials. That's, that's just how it is. It's just really important. So you will see that you have a lot of choices. And what happens is that your brain is basically focusing on giving a name for something. For example, this one, it's a, oh, this is a stone wall. And these are, this is ground material with some deer. This is like a forest ground. And you can even, uh, you know, read the material names and just assign a name for it. Like this is bark and everything. And all these names in your head are actually holding you back from what you actually want to achieve. Because in the world of art, there is no such thing as a brick or as, as a bark or as wood. As, is, everything is just in terms of shapes, forms, colors. And we're going to talk about shapes today because it's the most, the most understanding, the most fundamental thing you need to understand about any kind of texture. It's the, it's the pattern. So whenever you have a texture like this, for example, this is a brick material, you kind of know, like, you know, it can tile, you know, if I, if I were to imagine how the texture continues, I will imagine it's something like this, right? I have another brick here, another big brick here, another small one and so on. And I can continue until I finish the texture and obviously I can make it tile, right? So this is a pattern, right? And this texture is very clean. It's very easy to identify. This one is a little bit harder just because the, the texture, it's somewhat clear on some parts. Like for example, in this area, the, the bricks are very clearly defined, but here they're kind of like blending, you know, blending with the, with the background and, you know, it's, you can almost feel this as if it's just one thing, right? You can group them like this and grouping is like, just like very important. You can group like something like this, for example, or something like this. And you have like different patterns, like pattern one, pattern two, you can group something like this because it's honestly, uh, they are blending more. So the patterns that they create are different. Whereas here, the pattern is just very simple it's just a bunch of squares next to each other and i can predict where is the next one gonna go whereas this one is a little bit harder you know uh, it becomes harder and harder so you can see patterns everywhere here it's very obvious you can see the pattern and here it's a little bit harder you know and uh, because the pattern is not so clear if you want to identify what is the next thing it probably will think something like that but you cannot really predict what's going on right so we have uh we're already seeing two two types of textures here uh, one that is very organized and another one that is very unorganized and you can see like it has like small shapes here notice that i'm always talking about shapes medium shapes big shapes You'll have these lines, but in general, like if, if you just like squeeze your eyes, or if in my case, if just remove my glasses, I can I can just basically do this and select the main shapes, and and, and with that, like I don't for me, this is just one thing, right? This is just one thing, and that's that's just how it is, right? And 
patterns like this sometimes are really small they come in big medium small patterns uh, notice i'm only all, only talking about the shapes i'm not really concerned about what kind of material this is like yeah there is a rock but what i see here is just different shapes here it's not really square which makes it look more natural you know you have this these patterns here just more and more uh, circles you get the point so the idea is that you never when you go to bridge or any other kind of software or you want to create a texture well the thing that is holding you back it's basically like what do i want to add and you start thinking oh i need some brick so you look for brick and um, but you're not really thinking about what kind of shapes i want to put how can i make this interesting and a software that can really help you it's substance designer so substance uh, obviously you can create patterns and the way you can think of those is like blueprints you know you can create really interesting textures with substance there are uh, a lot of resources you can you can learn from uh, myself included but the basic of it is that you have a pattern here and you can see that if i press spacebar you will see that the pattern is actually repeating here and it's kind of like in the texture world everything is repeating how you how you go from like even from this you can see i'm already tiling the the texture here and the pattern is a little bit more vague you know it's hard to spot a spot compared to this one this one is already very obvious so sometimes what you do is just blend things right you have a, a pattern that it's very obvious just like this one and this is what we will call like resting area and then you have a pattern that is like very very noisy so whenever you make your textures always think about the patterns always think about the patterns you can you can see here like if you zoom in you will see that i have different patterns here and uh, the way i chose the textures for this project is by shapes i notice the shapes I notice there are some brick materials here. I, you can notice the pattern here, right? You can notice all these pattern shapes, this brick. You can also see another pattern, which is like a bigger brick here. It's just like this. It's like more square, bigger, you know? I, I want to have big, big shapes, small shapes. And I also have this area here, which is very hard to identify the pattern. It's just basically like a matte material and it's very chaotic, right? This is basically my resting area where I don't have much things going on. And I'm blending between these, all these three assets here. So that's how you choose your textures. It's not about, oh, I'm going to use matte and brick and then you limit yourself to what you have. But in reality, if you think about it, that the names you put in your head they don't necessarily translate into the art world. Art has a different type of language that is different from your logical mind. And in this case, you, you can see that I'm applying the same thing, but it's just, let me, let me zoom in here. I can, I'm applying the same thing, but it's just like I'm splitting into two different areas here, the top at the bottom. And at the bottom, you can clearly see the bricks here. You can clearly see some small bricks, some big bricks, some, you know, you can, you can tell there is a cobblestone here. And from distance here, it's mostly flat, to be honest. It's not 100% flat, but it's mostly flat. And the reason is this pattern is very small compared to this one. And together, if I, I, I'm thinking about this thing, like as a whole texture, like this is my texture. Like everything you do in 3D, you need to look at it if it was 2D. Like this is my texture. I'm putting this pattern here, just right here. And I'm putting another pattern here. So the, it's like zooming in and out. Like when you zoom out, you have these shapes, right? And when you zoom in, you also have more, you, you find more and more details. It's like looking into a painting and like just 
zooming and you will find oh there's also more details here more details and even this brick like if you go into the neat details uh, you can even make shapes really interesting for s smaller things so it's all about the shapes it's 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 all about the shapes it's for if you if you can take one thing from this video is just don't don't use your brain for this just follow follow your intuition follow your heart for these things and follow a little bit of this formula like what is these shapes rectangles what am i looking for maybe i need a little bit of square too and i can blend these two because this is too big I like this shape is really interesting but this one is like it's it's gonna balance things out it's more predictable and maybe you want to add some chaos and you go for this texture here and you blend between those three and play with it and uh, you know color and a lot of those things are another things for another topic for another day but the main thing you want to take out from this is that the whole world is filled with shapes shapes that you can choose shapes that they don't have any name we put names because we want to organize things but you don't need them you can just choose like oh i like this shape i like how it looks i like this shape i like how it looks let me see how they look together so now you go from oh i'm working in a building and then i need some bricks and i'm working in a forest then i need some rocks and then all these things limit your possibilities where you can actually uh, what kind of textures you can actually use and obviously there's a little bit of logic behind it as well like you don't want to put a uh, glass material whenever you're making a rock right uh, so it, it, there's a lot of topics but in general like if you have like the right material and the right pattern and you feel like your pattern is really interesting i think you're in a good spot and you can use this software just to try things out like you can just blend between these textures and you can just try to play with them so i hope you get the idea i hope this one is, is useful for you if you are interested on a one-on-one -on -one private coaching session with me just put a link below where you can book a session and we can talk about your project and work together and if you enjoy this kind of topics obviously let me know in the comments what kind of topic you will like to see this is not something that you find on the internet very easily so i wanted to share with you this kind of uh, thinking behind uh, all the what's hidden behind the technology where you make games and everything sometimes you forget about the foundation this is the foundation this is the thing that actually will work for you no matter what technology will use no matter where you paint sculpt working games making movies whatever you need to apply this foundation for yourself and and that's it guys i hope you enjoy it and i see you in the next one